So welcome to this video, my name is Alex. Now this choice will either save you or condemn you. What is the choice that will either save you or condemn you? The choice is spirit or flesh. We are being called into the spiritual realm by God. We are being called to choose spirit instead of flesh. You cannot choose both. You have to choose one. Will you choose the earthly, material, fleshly realm or will you choose the spiritual realm of light where there are no desires, no fleshly desires, only desires for spiritual nourishment which are peace, love. And so this is a very, very, this is our soul hinges on this choice, spirit or flesh. So choosing spirit means letting go of our desires for all that is fleshly, letting go of the desire for material um, accumulation, for uh, obtaining something in this world, um, you know, getting any kind of notoriety or success. And one of the hardest choices, one of the two hardest choices, where well, we must choose spirit over flesh, are sex and food. Food and sex are the most primal, kind of fleshly satisfactions and comforts. And letting go of these, letting go of the desire for these. Not letting, not letting go of them, but letting go of the desire for these. Letting go of the desire to fill your stomach with food and letting go of the desire for sexual gratification are two of the hardest things. But when the moment comes and we are asked to choose, when... We, when we are being called by Christ and we are being asked to choose the spiritual world or the fleshy world, do we want to go with Christ? And this, ha this will happen psychologically. I've already had a taste of this and God is calling me and showing me the choice I have to make. And it's a choice that will happen in your mind. It's not going to be in the, re in the physical world like people think. You know, like Jesus is going to appear in the sky and we're going to float up in the air. It's going to happen psychologically. Because really the material world is an illusion anyway. The reality is in our mind. Not our thoughts. Thoughts are illusion as well. But true reality exists in our mind, which is the mind of God. And so that is where we have to make the choice. And that is where we have to let go of the desire. Because everything flows from the thoughts we have, the desires we have. Desires come from a thought. I want this, I want that, I want to enjoy this, I want to have that. So we have to let go of the desire for fleshly gratification. And that's one of the hardest things to let go of. But when the moment comes, as I said, when the moment comes and we're, we are asked, we are literally asked to decide, do you want my kingdom of light, spiritual kingdom of light, or do you want this earthly kingdom of, sa of satisfaction, of material, fleshly satisfaction. In which case, if you choose, you can't have both, and if you choose fleshly satisfaction, you will not be able to be moved into the kingdom of light. You will not be able to live in the spiritual realm with God. You know, it says in the Bible, blessed are the pure of heart, for they shall see God. Pure of heart means that your desire, because desires take root in your heart, your desire is only for spiritual things. That's what a pure heart means. Your desire is only for the light. Because that's what satisfies the heart completely. The light of God satisfies the heart completely. So there are no desires for fleshly things in a pure heart. There's only the desire to be one with the light of God. So you'll only see God if that is your only desire. If there are other desires, desires for things of the flesh, things of this world anything other than the light of God, then you will not be able to travel back to the kingdom of God, back into the light, into the spiritual realm, which I have glimpsed and which many people have glimpsed. So we have to make that choice. It's a hard one. Are you willing? Right, decide right now. How dedicated, how determined are you to leave the illusion and move into the truth? spiritual truth of God. If you're completely determined, 
and 100% sure that that is what you want, then you have to let go of thoughts of fleshly satisfaction. And when the moment comes to decide, make sure that that decision has already been made in your mind. And then you will be able to see God. And what role does Christ play in this? Christ is the purifier of our heart. As I said, we need a pure heart, which is focused on God. And it's Christ which purifies our heart from impure desires, or from fleshly desires, you could say. There's nothing wrong with fleshly desires, but they are desires of the flesh. And so, you know, you can indulge them if you want, but you will not be able to return to the kingdom of God. So Christ purifies the force of Christ, which is this kind of... Um, emissary of light from God. Christ is like an emissary of light, the emissary of, of light from God, which purifies our heart. You need your heart purified, and that's Christ's job. And so that's why it's important to have Christ in your heart and allow him to do his work, which is purifying your heart from all fleshly desires and making, help, letting him make you want only God. And that's why we move away from, spiritual, uh, from physical satisfaction and we pursue spiritual satisfaction, which means coming closer to God, more joy, more peace, more light, more love. So, so I hope this is hit home and this is making sense to you because it's crucial. Your soul hinges on this choice, spirit or flesh. Please choose the spirit. Please choose Christ. And you rely on Christ when the time comes and you are asked to choose. Christ will be with you and trust in Christ, and rely on him, cling to him, and he will carry you away from the fleshly material illusion back to the kingdom of God. Okay, thank you for watching this video. I wish you well, and God bless you.